Today, I'm going to share with you three of the most critical mistakes that I see so many hardware entrepreneurs make. And more importantly, I'm going to share with you what you can do instead to avoid these same, making these same mistakes. The typical entrepreneur gets a great idea. They may be asked for feedback from a few friends and family, but then they begin to focus everything on developing the perfect product. The more technical you are, for example, if you happen to be an engineer like myself, then I find even the more focused you are on development because that's where you feel the most comfortable. However, I advise you to start with what isn't the most comfortable for you because that's likely where your biggest challenges lie. Hi, I'm John Teal. I'm an engineer and an entrepreneur and the founder of Predictable Designs. Okay, so let's now discuss the three biggest mistakes that I see so many hardware entrepreneurs make and what you should do instead. Mistake number one, they don't properly validate their product idea with real customers. Yes, I said real customers, not friends or family. You need to pitch your product idea to total strangers. I know that's really scary for a lot of people, but you, you absolutely have to pitch it to total strangers who are in the right market for your product. That is, unless you plan to only ever sell your product to yourself, which I generally don't recommend, that's not very profitable. So as long as you're not going to sell to yourself, or only to yourself, then you absolutely must validate that there's a market that you can reach that is willing to pay for your solution. Entrepreneurs make way too many assumptions, which almost always prove incorrect. Just because you and your family think your product is genius and sure to be a home run, that does not mean that the market will want the product enough to pay for it. There are various ways for you to validate the market for your product, but they all depend on talking with strangers who are potential customers. This can be done in person, on the phone, maybe on a Zoom call, or even online in general. For example, Facebook ads can be one good option to drive a lot of potential customers to your product offer. But just be sure that you will always have open-ended conversations with your potential customers. Although I do believe that Facebook ads can be a great way to collect some larger market data, nothing can ever replace the value of open-ended conversations with your potential customers. You really want some out-of-the-box feedback that gives you maybe some new insight into your market that you hadn't maybe considered before. And that's impossible to collect outside of asking or having open-ended conversations. Of course, you can't collect nearly as many data points with one-to-one -one interviews, so I still think both methods are good to pursue simultaneously. Just be sure you are collecting email addresses of anyone that expresses any interest so you can reach out to them later to initiate open-ended dialogue. Although I think it's something that's dreaded by just about every entrepreneur, I can guarantee you that talking with your customers will be one of the most valuable things that you can do with your time. Humans are complex and weird and very difficult to predict, so don't make assumptions. Instead, actually talk to real human customers. Mistake number two is they wait too long to begin, make, to begin marketing. Most entrepreneurs tend to delay and undervalue marketing. Instead, they focus everything on product development, thinking, eh, I'll worry about marketing after I have my product completed and ready to go. But that is a huge, huge mis mistake. Instead, you need to begin marketing from day one, and it should be done simultaneously with product development. Marketing and building an audience of potential customers is a long, slow process, so you need to start as early as possible. The earlier you start, the better, partially because your marketing and the associated customer feedback can be critical in helping you shape your final product offering. So don't hide away in a cave while you build your product thinking, oh, if I just build it, they will come. That is the biggest myth in entrepreneurship. That does not happen. Doing this will likely lead you to building something that no one wants. You need to instead build your product with your customers. That's the re real recipe for success. Ideally, in the best case scenario, you should even build your market and your audience before you have a product idea. Then that way you can find out what, their prob what problems they're having and you can come up with a solution that's desired by that market. 
By starting marketing early and building your audience, you not only get valuable customer feedback, but you also have an audience of people excited to buy your product once it's available. From my experience, nothing gets people more excited for something new than if they feel like they were involved in the creation of it, or at least they were there following along in the creation of it. Either way, they're excited and ready to buy whenever you are ready to sell. Mistake number three is they make their product too complex. Until you've gone through this full cycle of developing a product and bringing it to market, it's impossible for you to have any realistic appreciation for how complicated this whole process is. And that's with a relatively simple product. If you're developing a really, really complicated product, then you've increased the complexity of everything. You've increased your development cost. You've increased the time it's going to take to develop your product. You've developed, or increased how long it's going to take to get to market. And not to mention, most importantly, you've increased the actual cost of the product. Also, you've increased your risk because you're developing a more complex product. And that has a lot more risk associated with it than developing a simple product. But really, I mean, most importantly, you've increased your odds of failure. So I recommend that you save the super complicated products for the really big companies that have teams of engineers and millions of dollars to spend on development. I mean, that's, that's what it really takes to develop an extremely complicated product. There's just no way for, a, especially a solo startup, but even a, a, a startup with a small team with limited resources to ever compete with companies that can spend millions of dollars to get a product development. So don't neglect to spend the time upfront to simplify your product. Understand the core needs of your customers and the relative technical complexities of every desired feature. Product simplification is an important aspect of the minimum viable product or MVP concept. You wanna make your product as simple as possible while still solving your customer's core problem. You can always add complexity and solve their secondary problems later but only after the simplified original version is a proven success. Okay, so we've now reviewed the three critical mistakes that I see so many hardware entrepreneurs make and what you should do instead to avoid making these same mistakes. So the first mistake is they don't validate their product with real customers. You absolutely must validate your product idea with real customers who are not friends and family. Number two, they don't start marketing their product early enough. It's such a, a common mistake to think that you can delay marketing until after you finish product development. But marketing is, is a really slow process. It's, it's, it's complex and time consuming as development. So it's much better to do the two simultaneously instead of doing them sequentially. And then number, th the number three mistake is they fail to simplify their product and they try to bring the market too, compl too complex of a product and that just makes it where it's, it's very challenging for startups with limited resources to ever compete and bring really complicated products to market. So I encourage you to spend considerable time up front trying to find ways to simplify your product. Okay, that's it. I hope you have found uh, this really helpful. And if you have, I would really appreciate it if you could uh, leave a comment or uh, click the like button below. Thanks so much. And I'm John Teal with Predictable Designs, and I hope you have a great day. Hey there, this is John Teal, founder of Predictable Designs. If you enjoyed this video and you want to keep learning more about developing, manufacturing, and selling new hardware products, then be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also check out the websites predictabledesigns.com and thehardwareacademy.com.